Conflicts around money, stress and anxiety and arguments about money is cited as the number one cause of conflict and stress in relationships and ultimately in one of the big contributing factors to a breakdown in marriages. And this is so tragic. But why this happens is we're not taught how to speak about money, to talk about it. There's a lovely saying that assume makes an ass of you and me. And assuming that you and your partner understand and think about money in the same way, the values and the things that you want from your money and your wealth are the same, is an incredibly, incredibly dangerous strategy when it comes to your intimate relationships and these really important relationships. And by coming together and really starting to have some empowered conversations about our money, how are we gonna manage it, What's important to us? What do we, where do we want to direct our money? What are our values around money? Because we all have money values. These will be things that are important to us that we need to feel from the money in our life. You know, for some of us, we'll have a higher need to have certainty and security from money. Others will want more adventure and excitement. And if you and your partner haven't had these conversations and understood how you want to direct your money, what is important to you in terms of your values from your wealth, in order to you to feel you've got a great, supported, wealthy life, you can end up in huge conflict and miscommunicating with other because you've just never really understood both of your positions. So stop. Firstly, get really clear on why money is important to you. What are the aspects of your life? Because it's never just about money. It's not just about the things you can buy. There are so many other emotional drivers. And so if security and certainty is really important to you, own that. That is great. That is fine. And that is why it's so important you have security soup. Have the security blanket, this net, that, that amount that literally just sits in the back. Its job isn't to shoot the lights out. It's not to go and work hard for you. It is just to make you feel safe and secure. Then there are other parts that are meant to go out there and work really hard. Maybe a bit more volatile, slightly maybe a bit more sexy and exciting. But for a lot of people, if you don't have the security side in place, you will still feel anxious and you know, can't sleep at night if you don't have these different value needs met. So have these conversations with those you love. Have these conversations with your family. Let's get money out of the closet and really start talking about it, what money is. Because the truth is, money in and of itself is not an end. We don't master money and invest and save in order to end up with this big pile of money that we can roll around on or dive into like old Max Scrooge from the Huey, Dewey and Louie cartoons. Money is a means to an end. It's, an, it's one of the most important ingredients we have to live this rich, juicy life. And part of living that juicy life is feeling supported and able with abundance and joy and getting rid of this anxiety, this uncertainty, this worry that we wake up at night. Because here's the sad thing. Some of my clients, I have some people coming to me with significant net worth significant net worth and remember that's your assets minus your liabilities they've got a lot of assets yet they still feel incredibly anxious and fearful about their money because they've never really connected is with what is important to them and really honoring their needs of either certainty security and recognizing all of these different components that money is meant to enable and as soon as they put those things in place in a structured way and really connect that this is what their money can support them to feel, then they start feeling wealthy. And you don't need a big net worth to be able to do that. You start by getting clear on what will money enable you to feel? What is important to you? Communicate your needs with your partner and then respect that you and your partner may very well have different money values and ensure that how you plan your wealth feast, how you manage your money meets all of your needs not one or the other, but combined. And this is why this journey to financial freedom, this journey of mastering your money and getting intimate with it can be such an incredible addition to have an amazing, juicy, intimate relationship. It really is something that can add juice to all aspects of your life. <laughs>